A word of the day. A word of the day comes from Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. And it says, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And in all your gettings, get understanding. Amen to that. This is continuation from the sermon that I gave yesterday. It talks about how we, we need to understand God's ways. We need to have his wisdom to get through this life and to see and to know the things that God shows us. Principle is, wisdom truly is the principal thing, but it also means that we need to understand. We need to understand God's ways because his thoughts are not our thoughts and his ways are not our ways. And we truly need to understand those things in order to continue to be blessed and to follow our Lord Jesus Christ. He truly gives us this book as, as the, the learning tool that we need to get through this world and get through this life and to open our eyes to see the things that's going on around us. The Bible also tells us the things to come. We see all the pestilence and all the violence and all the wars and and things that's happening, this, the weather and everything. These, these things, all these things were, were foretold in the book. So, you know, to have wisdom is to understand that we already know that these things have to happen because now we are in a progression of things to come. We know that this world has to truly break down before it comes to the Lord. And even when the world breaks down, there still will be many who will not surrender their life to the Christ. They will allow their pride to keep them from him. But as wise and understanding people as we are, we, we are always trying to seek God's wisdom. We are always trying to seek what he wants for us to do. We always are trying to seek his will. And that truly is wisdom. So let's read a few more verses in Proverbs chapter four, verses five to seven. It says, get wisdom, get understanding. Do not forget nor turn away from the words of my mouth. Do not forsake her, for she will preserve you. Love her and she will keep you. This is all talking about wisdom. Wisdom, we should love wisdom. It will take care of us. It will guide us and lead us. Do not forsake us because if we forsake the wisdom of our Lord, we will fall back into the darkness of the pit and darkness of this world. And we truly don't want to do that. We want to keep her. We want to keep the wisdom that God has for each and every one of us. It says wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And in all your getting, get understanding. You know, our journey is a continuous learning every day, continuing to learn the ways of our Lord. We know Jesus said, I am the truth, the way, and the life. In order to understand him, we have to learn. We have to seek his wisdom. We have to know his word. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 12, it says, for wisdom is a defense, as money is a defense. But the excellence of knowledge is that wisdom gives life to those who have it. Praise the Lord for that. Wisdom gives life to those who have it. We cannot get through this life without having God's wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Otherwise, we would just be like those that don't follow the Lord, those that are in darkness. But God brought us into this light. He gives us everything that we need. He helps us and he protects us. The excellence of knowledge is wisdom. That's for sure. In Proverbs 23, 23, it says, Buy the truth and do not sell it. Also, wisdom and instruction and understanding. These three. Wisdom, instructions, and understanding. That is the truth. That is what we truly need every day as we wake up and we walk in our life today. God's word 
God's truth, God's wisdom, God's understanding. God's instruction, because he tells us where the way to go, what to do, if we're listening for his voice. We don't have to lean on our own understanding. But wisdom is to put our trust and our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. In Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verses 16 to 18, and it says, He's, Then I said, Wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poor man wisdom is despised. And, the, and his words are not heard. Eyes spoken quietly should be heard rather than the shout of a ruler of fools. Wisdom is better than weapons of war, but one sinner destroys much good. Amen. Wisdom is truly the principal thing. It's the one thing that we truly need. And the word tells us if we lack wisdom, if we lack faith, if we lack trust, to just ask. It all just comes down to that one simple thing. The Lord tells us to just ask. And he asked Solomon back in the day, what, what, what shall I give you? And, God, and Solomon asked for wisdom. We pray and we ask, God will give us wisdom as well. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this word. We thank you for just leading us and guiding us today. We thank you for reminding us that it doesn't matter the things that are going on around us because you're going to take care of all those things in your due time. But we understand that to get through this life, we truly need your wisdom, your knowledge, and your understanding. And life is a lot easier and a lot better when we can put our trust and faith in you and just do your wisdom. When you give us your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, we understand the ways of this world. We understand the people of this world. We understand the things of happening in this world. Because the wisdom reveals all of those things to us. So we pray for our workplaces today. I pray for everyone's workplace today that you fill everyone with your wisdom to be able to get through their day, to understand the things that's happening. I pray for everybody today that you just fill them with your spirit and give them your knowledge and wisdom and understanding as well. And just bless our day. Fill us with your spirit today. And guide us all today in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. We give you all the honor and all the praise and all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you all and have a wonderful day in the Lord.